Good morning, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Well, today isn't going to be quite as nice as yesterday when we saw those high temperatures in the low to mid 60s. But that said, temperatures are still going to be above normal for this time of year. Typically, for St. Patrick's Day, we see high temperatures in the low to mid 40s. And instead, though it's not going to be as warm as yesterday, we're going to see a high of 49. Chippewa Falls, 52 in La Crosse, 54 in Portage, 53 in Madison, 57 in Kenosha. Now, I do think it's going to stay dry in the northern half of the state, but we do have a rain chance to talk about for the southern portion of the state. In fact, already starting to see a few pop-up light rain showers out there. This is at 8 a.m. The model showing that the rain activity kind of limited to around the Portage, Madison, Baraboo area. This is in heavy rain with the possibility of needing some windshield wipers for the morning commute. Yes, that's a possibility. Looking dry for Winona and La Crosse and probably going to stay dry with Winona and La Crosse so throughout the day because it looks like this little area of rain is going to be pushing off to the east. So notice kind of activity peaking around lunchtime around the Madison area. Again, not heavy rain, but just kind of the annoying stuff, the stuff they probably will need an umbrella for. So carry on around throughout the day. Notice where I see in Kenosha could still be dry at 1 o'clock. The better chance of rain there is for the homebound commute when things will probably be drying out around the Madison area. Uh, and you can see the temperatures relatively uniform across the area, but notice that where the rain is falling, the temperatures will likely be pulled down a little bit. We'll get a little bit of cooler air from higher up in the atmosphere coming down. So when it's raining, it'll probably be a little bit cooler. And then when it stops raining, temperatures will rebound a little bit. And a pretty cloudy day for everyone across southern Wisconsin. No snow today, but let's jump ahead to tomorrow and talk about the snow. This continues to be, unfortunately, a very tricky forecast because there's going to be a rain-snow line that is going to be moving throughout the day tomorrow. Though there are indications that it may temporarily stall out and cause a lot more snow to fall in some locations than others. So 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, this is the latest high-resolution model we've got coming in, showing that temperatures are going to be cold enough for mostly snow across southern Wisconsin, anywhere from La Crosse. Uh, down to notice that rain snow line right around Lake Geneva, Racine, kind of looks like that's where it'll be. So probably some snow coming down for the morning commute for Madison, Portage, Baraboo, Beaver Dam, which could slow things down a little bit. You know how it goes. It doesn't take much snow to slow things down. So I would give yourself extra time pretty much anywhere in southern Wisconsin. It's going to be a little bit of rain coming down and slow things down. But what I'm most concerned about for the morning commute is places like Baraboo, Portage, Beaver Dam, Madison. Now let's jump ahead to 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice that that rain snow line actually pushing north a little bit as some warmer temperatures push in. It's probably all going to be rain for us in Kenosha, but the rain snow line, <laughs> it looks like Madison could be the dividing line. And that's why Madison probably has the trickiest snow forecast because is Madison rain at four o'clock in the afternoon or snow at four o'clock in the afternoon? Really, it could go either way. This model kind of leaning towards the snow, but it wouldn't take much. That rain snow line is just a little bit farther north. Could be rain for Madison, but it looks like Baraboo Portage, meanwhile, a little bit safer, a little bit farther north, more likely to be snow. By the way, in addition to these cold temperatures, notice 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, windy across southern Wisconsin. Notice, though, it's going to be warmer around the La Crosse Winona area because precipitation is not going to be coming down, but it looks like it'll probably still be on the windy side there. Friday evening plans, not looking like the best Friday evening in southern Wisconsin, besides La Crosse and Winona, but there it's just going to be cold, but probably going to be dry. Meanwhile, rain still coming down for Racine, Kenosha, Milwaukee, and there's that rain snow line still right around Madison, Beaver Dam. And is it going to be rain or is it going to be snow? Kind of leaning towards the, the snow solution for now. Of course, we'll update you on this again tomorrow. Finally, we got to still talk about Saturday, but notice the dramatic improvement as we go through the overnight hours, less and less snow. I think it's mainly going to be flurry activity. And yes, finally, some snow for Racine, Kenosha. Your best chance probably going to be a very late Friday night, early Saturday morning. A lot of folks drying out, it looks like. Not as windy. Looks like it'll still be breezy, though, for much of the day. I guess around 20, 25 miles per hour. And then notice that by the time we get to noon, finally, all the activity is over with. The clouds starting to break up. And depending on how quickly the clouds break up, that'll dictate our temperatures. So probably a little bit warmer around with no and across. And not quite as warm around Racine and Kenosha because it take longer for those clouds to break up. Okay, here's our latest snowfall map based on that high resolution model that I just showed you. This is what it's kicking out for snow. And look at the extremely tight gradient where if it's right and that rain snow line is just south of Madison, we could be talking about 2.9 inches in Madison, 3.3 inches in Baraboo, 3 inches in Portage, 2.4 inches in Beaver Dam. But that area around Madison 
Platteville, Beaver Dam. That's the area that has the most uncertainty in the forecast. And a little shift in that rain snow line could bring changes to this forecast. So look for an update tomorrow. I am confident, though, and a lot less around Racine Kenosha, where it's mostly going to be rain, and a lot less around La Crosse and Monona, where there's not going to be much precipitation coming down at all. It'll be cold enough for snow, but it doesn't look like it's going to set up or that band is going to be laying down around Winona La Crosse. You're probably only going to see about a trace of snow. So look for an update on actual snow amounts for tomorrow. And the other thing I will mention as well, keep in mind that probably not this much snow is actually going to be on the ground because temperatures are largely still going to be a little bit above freezing. So there's going to be significant melting. So 2.9 inches of snow may very well fall in Madison, but probably not going to pile up on the ground up to 2.9 inches. The biggest thing is going to be that reduced visibility for tomorrow. So give yourself extra time morning through the afternoon and evening hours to get to your destination because of that rain snow mix.